also would like to thank uh, Montville for hosting this, and it's a great turnout tonight. I will say my background, I've been here four times already, but for a lot of people that haven't been here, I'm 27 and a half years in law enforcement. 17 of those years, I was a representative for my police department. Also, I was on a pension board for 12 years. $23 billion pension system. I'm on the school board in my town right now, going on seven years. I was on the governor's transition team. I was picked to be on that transition team because I picked a fight back in 2007. I was calling for pension reform and nobody even heard of what pension reform was. Now it's a household name because we have a governor that you know put it in the front page of every newspaper. But there's nobody who has a background like me. It's either the union side or the administrative side. I have both. I have 17 years on the union end, 19 years on the administrative side. I worked four to 12 for more than 20 years. I didn't sit behind the desk, I was out there on the street. So again, um, what I'll bring to the table is years of experience on both sides of the table. Also, I may disagree with my opponent on certain things. I think you got a better chance hitting the lottery than ISIS strike in Morris County. But what I think you have a problem with here is heroin. I said that from day one. That's the problem we have to deal with first. Yeah, we do have to worry about the lone wolf offenders, and we will do that. But heroin's a problem here in Montville alone. I don't even want to tell you how many overdoses you have, but that's a problem we got to deal with. And not locking anybody up. That's the easy part, locking people up. We have to start committees to go out there and tell the people where they can go for help. So the committee's going to be made up of law enforcement, community leaders, former addicts, and counselors. And what I want to do is have a hotline in the Sheriff's Department where you call up and you ask for help. And you, we don't put you into the legal system where your parents or your husband or wife have to pay for expensive lawyers. We'll send you to a counselor and deal with it that way first. And, and I'll do the same thing with child abuse, spouse abuse, and senior abuse. Community outreach is where, where we have to go in this county. But on June 7th, I'd appreciate if you consider me for Morris County Sheriff.